One of these two items is going to have to change. Today, I'm going to be talking about Grisidua, the flower, which is used to increase the IVs and help with shaman. And I'm also going to be talking about Lepa berries. Now, why are these two items related? Let's go ahead and talk about it. So, it's because these two items are what are constantly being competed on what to farm for. I'm sitting here at the berry farming patch within Pokemon. Many of you may know this. This is one of the best money making methods in game. It's very passive. I don't like to do it because my berries end up dead like this. I always forget, but it's quite good if you have a good routine, have good memory, etc., etc. And traditionally, people have always farmed lepa berries. They're very good money. Uh, Shiny hunters constantly need them. Level berries are really important and required for a lot of shiny hunts that are far away from a PC. Um, a really good example is Wabafet, Lickitung, stuff like that. Um, there's tons of other examples, but level berries are very much required by lots of shiny hunters for certain types of shiny hunts. Uh, they can also just be like useful for utility. They restore Pokemon's PP by 10 on a certain move. Now, the difference between these two items is that Lepa Berries currently sell for 960 Pokeyen on the GTL. This is actually higher than normal. They have been rising in price. And the reason is everybody's been busy farming Grisidua. Pretty much nobody is farming Lepa Berries right now or any player who's caught on. Everybody has switched over to Grisidua. And you may ask, you know, why? Because Grisiduas have tanked in value. But the reason is Grisiduas sell for more than Lepa Berries to a shop to a pokemart you can see on that top white little text box sell price 1250 so you can grow grisiduas sell them to a shop for 1250 each so you're making more per grisidua than per lepa berry uh, and that's really you're, you make more profit it's more profitable to farm grisidua now one of these items has to change for this sort of chain to to I guess continue or to be broken. Uh, something's gonna happen. So Lepa berries are either going to continuously raise in price because people are no longer going to farm them. They are going to continuously raise in price until they are around twelve eighty, maybe thirteen hundred a piece. So Lepa berries might raise in price slowly all the way up until thirteen hundred until they're more beneficial to farm than Grisiduas. That's you know what it takes. Why would you farm anything other than the most effective means of making money, right? That's kind of how MMOs work. If you want to personally farm for your own Lepas, you can do that. But why would you do that when you could just farm Grisiduas, sell them, and then buy more Lepas? right that's the mmo formula there's some sort of iron man type thing but that's a obviously a different situation but two th one of the things lepa berries will either just raise in price ra raise in price up to 1300 or so or grisidia was will get nerfed that's been something of sort of a hot button topic recently people have been talking about it in my streams and such into my comments into my community um it's very possible that the sell price of grisidia gets nerfed down to around 1000 pokey or so would be my guess i think 1000 would be pretty fair um that would bring lepas up to around that price which i think is pretty reasonable now the developers, neither of these options is wrong. It's really up to what the developers want to do and what the developers want to prioritize. Do they want Lepa Berries to be more expensive? Do they want Shiny Hunting to be a little more expensive and have Shinies be a little more, you know, that much more valuable? Or do they want to preserve the actual currency, the, cur the inflation side of the economy, right? Do they want to prevent people selling these to shops? Um, my guess would be I'm leaning towards personally the Dracidua nerf. Um, I'm, I'm okay with shiny hunting being expensive as a shiny hunter myself. It sucks, um, but you know it's just you know it makes sense. Shinies are awesome, right? <laughs> I'm okay with paying that price. But I think I think what's going to happen is I think Dracidua is going to get nerfed because I think they they value that inflation. Shinies have already had a lot of increased value uh, over the past, especially the past year or so, due to the prismatic pearls and everything um, and other sort of updates like that. Like, look at this. Like, Shinies being at a base floor of 1.5 mil. This is really good. The Shiny economy is really healthy right now. All the breeding and Prismatic Pearls, this is fantastic. They were they were reaching down as far as, like, 800k before. Shiny Lunatone and Solrock. This is really, really good news for the Shiny economy. Honestly, I could do a whole video talking about this. It's a really big deal. It's a really good sign. Um, But... Patrick Grisidua. I see them nerfing Grisidua because I see them wanting to control that sort of inflation side and that pokey inside of the economy versus actually caring about the uh, the value of shinies and such, which is un honestly understandable. Shinies already have such an inherent value in terms of their OT. OT shinies do, right? Um, monetary value of shinies is 
kind of arbitrary, but it's nice to keep at a decent price to show uh, newer players or more casual players, hey, shinies are valuable, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and it's good for them to have a use like that or whatever. And some people need to sell shinies, right? But I think I am going to predict, I guess, that at some point they might nerf Crisidua's sell price to around 1K. Um, if not, if they don't. I do think Lepas will eventually just slowly rise until they're 1300 apiece. That's my little prediction. That's my little talking point of today. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Dislike if you didn't. Subscribe to the channel for daily Pokemon content. Follow Twitch for daily streams Monday through Thursday at 12 p.m. EST. Discord link down below. That's pretty much it for me. Have a great day. Good luck on your berry farming.